Boys and girls, Alex here. Over the last year or so I've got sick and tired of trying to start my old tractor because of the faulty or an old flat battery. It just wouldn't start. Tra recharged it, still wouldn't start. So I got sick and tired of it and traded it up for this, for <laughs> believe it or not, battery driven Ryobi zero turn rider mower. It's a little pisser actually. It's uh, battery operated. I must admit, I thought it was bat rechargeable batteries you insert, but it's actually an onboard battery through this little plug here and a unit up there plugged in. It doesn't have a traditional steering wheel being a zero turn. I didn't know much about them. It's got these bloody levers. Um, the way they work, you push them in there in park at the moment. You push them in, move it forward. What that does is it makes the right wheel turn forward. When you move it back, it reverses. Now, what makes this so difficult to steer? Like when I first got it, it came on a uh, metal pallet which you had to disassemble and take off well I disassembled the bloody thing and uh, I had to drive it off the pallet um, all I can say is I was fortunate because for a start I didn't realize it was strapped to the bottom when I eventually took it off lucky I moved the car because it just took off and I am not joking I pulled the bloody thing up about uh, a foot away from a brick wall anyway the whole thing about this steering mechanism is that being the levers, if you want to turn right, you push the left lever forward. If you want to turn left, you pull the right lever forward. Alternatively, you can pull the other one backwards. But as I said, it's virtually the reverse of standard procedures. So, like if you want it in a steering wheel, turn right, you turn it. Well, actually, you still turn it left. No. Bullshit, what am I talking about? Turn left, you turn it left, turn right, you turn it right. Now this is not so bad until you start losing control and you get out of, uh, well, lose control, you start to panic and the brain takes over and everything's in reverse. And of course, doing it in the wrong way, you get into more of a panic which exacerbates the situation before you know it. You're hurtling about bloody, what's his name, 15 mile kph down the bloody road, totally out of control. Anyway, to cut a long story short, I haven't, I'm ranting and raving, but doesn't matter. Um, film's free. Um, I haven't actually cut grass with it yet, um, and I will probably do a review on it once the weather start climb starts up as you can see it's pretty cloudy out there and miserable anyway um i'm going to actually spend the next few days practice driving it you know i've gone out a couple of times and had a drive and uh, look it's a learning curve um so it's a case of uh having a bit of a drive, waiting for the opportunity and doing it. The other thing I must admit I've got to get used to, although I can, I believe I can remove it, I don't know how, this uh, chute on the side here, let's see, can I zoom in? Here we go. Um, I keep bloody bumping that into side things or whatever because uh, with my old one, I took it off and mainly because the old one used to be renowned for being a good mulcher. Now this is a, supposed to be a good mulcher and it's got a mulching, mulching attachment. All the mulching attachment really is, is, hang on, I'll zip this out, is it covers up that hole there and then you hopefully remove that. Oh well look, while I'm here, you've got all your little adjustments. It's got this nice little gizmo that you can actually take off put up there which means it actually restricts how high or the lowest you can drop it actually that's not too bad um, the controls here push it on to engage the 
blades, pull it up to turn it off. It's got a low speed cut, low speed drive, which is brilliant. It's even got bloody headlights. Switch for your USB port. Put shit in there like your stubbies and you can't put a cask of wine in, but or maybe a can of two litre cask. It's got a battery display. It just tells you normally the percentage and how many hours you've run it. I haven't run it that far. Um, leaving actually to move seat backwards and forwards. Uh, pedal. Shit of a pedal, but anyway, press that in, it releases it. Anyway, we'll show you that later maybe. Drink holder, beauty. Another tool holder. Um can move the seat forward. I don't know what you can store there. You've got a choice of towing a uh, trailer, which isn't too bad because I do have a trailer. The thing that is quite unique about this unit is to change blades, you actually have to remove this bottom assembly. Having said that, if you do remove it without the blades on it, it now becomes just a CRV. Um, so, uh, if I ever get pissed and lose my license, I can ride this down to the pub to get more vino. Pretty good, pretty handy. And as I said, you can then tow one of these behind it. Which is quite nifty. Oh, for all it's worth, I actually bought a... Uh, when I had the other tractor, I bought this little, um, as you can see, it's hardly used. I don't do much gardening. That's why most of these things are never used. It's an electric mower, mainly designed to get into corners that I couldn't get the tractor into. However, having said that, these things are supposed to really get into tight spots. So, uh, well, maybe I'll use it. Oh, for all it's worth, while we're here, as you can see, I've got quite an array of Ryobi stuff and they're all bright and shiny only because I used to have petrol I used to didn't mind them but I'm such a lazy bastard and petrol has a shelf life so I spent a, f a small fortune getting the car be cleaned and all that so I've just decided bugger it I'll upgrade and I'll turn Electric. Look, it wasn't environment. It was only because I'm bloody lazy and that's it um, However, having said that I did buy this uh, Ryobi battery operated or cordless Power washer only because oh, I was just sick and tired of carrying cords around And that's it. There's for all it's worth. I've uh, up the top here. I've got a small uh, compressor There you are look I might as well show you around. There's the spa tub. Um, I do have combination locks on the doors because now because of the spa it's got to be secure. So this place has to be now locked up tight. I have combination locks on there. That's locked. A barbecue area that I never use. And that's it. Look, what I'll probably do, oh geez, this has gone on for a long time. Um, you can probably fast forward it because what I'll probably do is add on to this. Uh, I'll show you how it drives in a minute. And I'll have to get dressed and I've got to try and find the crash helmet because, by God, um, it's dangerous. I don't think I've got a crash helmet, but I'll see if I can improvise something out of the workshop. Open this up because I don't particularly want to go through my fly wire there and give it a test drive just to, so you can see how it handles okay I'm back again dressed armed with a makeshift crash helmet and I'll put my spats on just in case there's some snakes out there that have forgot to hibernate for winter it's now July here in Australia which is bloody cold so here we go I don't know whether you can hear me with my crash helmet on, but see, here we are. Got the keys. Ready to go. Oh, hang on. Logging up.
Strike off. Okay, that was a rugged experience. A couple of times I lost it there. I don't know whether you actually noticed it in the corner here. I did panic. I lost control. I crashed into these. Fortunately, they've got a bit of give in them. So you didn't do it. I did a wheelie, and you'll notice it does take a... Christ, it's worse than a bloody golf course. Look at all the divots it's taken. So, naturally, you have to get off it and... Replace your divot, cover them up, here we go, a few more, hopefully anybody that walks in the backyard will ignore it, here we go, oops, now normally I wouldn't be making tight turns like that, that was, I think, a previous practice run. I wouldn't be doing tight turns, but uh, there you have it. Now, for all you people that might think that, Jesus Christ, you know, a ride on mower like that's for a little backyard like this. Well, the backyard itself isn't that great, but what's the real killer is this bloody monstrous front nature strip I've got. goes out there and then zips way down there and whoa do that and to think when I lived in Richmond and I had an area about just just about what you can see in the viewfinder and it took me a lot of salt searching not to bite a ride on mower for that but I didn't but as soon as I moved here I couldn't resist it anyway that's it for this bit of a demo. What I'll probably do is, uh, well, after the weather eases up, or at least the grass dries out, and I can take it for a bit of a spin, because uh, it's not one of those things where you can actually get under it that easy to clean the blades after the grass is, uh, wet grass is clogged in. Is it parked? Yeah, everything's turned off. I suppose I should plug it in. It's just one of those things that they recommend you just keep. Where is it? Here we go. 
you keep plugged in all the time and I'm hoping it's not one of those uh, chargers where the battery does go down if you keep it permanently charged. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, yeah, who uh, till next time and as I said next time probably be more a review of how to cut the bloody thing and it certainly wasn't a very good demonstration of how to drive it because by shit as I said it just takes getting used to however the few vinos I had before I jumped on it probably didn't help but now a few vinos to settle down will help Hello. before I finish up I thought I'd just give you a quick look at this is the uh, metal pallet that the beast came on um, it was just sitting on it just like I'll drop it down as you can see it's not sort of like super light um, and then you know you've got to actually drive it off and it's a bit of a drop and these are all the uh, metal bars or the sides that were bolted on as you can see oops let's go that way it was bolted on um, wrapped up in plastic and all that unfortunately I didn't take a picture of it when which I should have but that's it hang on I'll just put it back up yeah sorry about that clang before I uh, didn't expect it to be that heavy and with one hand it was just a bit hard to hold on anyway okay back to the workshop um, I won't bore you shitless with the works up so hooroo! Alexa, turn shop light on. Okay. There we go, there you are. That was an easy way out. Ready to go up the lift. Alexa, turn shop light off. Alexa, turn Scotty on. Okay. Scotty is the light for out of Star Trek, which I plagiarised to turn the lift on. Okay, anyway, into the lift, and we go up and say goodbye. Hello. And now that I'm upstairs to close everything up it's just a simple case of Alexa turn Scotty off okay and that's it lights are off workshop closed Uh-oh.